I just graduated from the University of Michigan with a degree in data mining. Originally, my mom was kind of worried because she had heard all these things in the 80s about, you know, cult and different things. And you hear, you know, people living together and it's a religious thing. Take our literature, uh -huh. read it over, and think about it. What the hell happened to you? Krishna consciousness. After I, I kind of explained to her the philosophy and, you know, my understanding of it and how I apply it, it it's, you know, she really, now she's like really pleased and happy. She couldn't be happier that I'm doing it. When I'm out there chanting, I have reflections like, I've been sitting here for multiple hours just singing the Hare Krishna song with my friends. This is like, look at all these people who have a life and a job. Why shouldn't, why can't I be like them? But inevitably, afterwards, I just feel really satisfied. Like, it was a very, very good thing to be doing. It, like, it affords an opportunity where you can really, from the heart, interact with people randomly just as a that, that never happens you know the only time I waste time is when I don't chant it, it is sort of different like you know associating with devotees who like going to bed like by nine and waking up at three and like associating with college kids who like going to bed at three you know and it's just like two completely different worlds I would say that positive eye contact is rare but there's a lot of just looking like like, what is that kind of eye contact? To be honest, people look, people seem really depressed and in a hurry all the time, you know? They're just carrying on. In New York City, of course, it's pretty fast paced. You're around so many people constantly, but people seem lonely. So we're there sitting on our blanket, chanting for six hours, and we inevitably all have smiles on our faces, you know? We're all sitting there, pretty satisfied looking, waving at everyone. <laughs> like, you know, when people walk by and they don't look, it doesn't really make much of a difference, I've got to be honest, you know, because they're still hearing it. You're like, you know, I don't think, like, they get deaf by, by, when they're walking across it. Like, yeah, it may be falling on unattentive ears, but it's still falling on it, and it makes some sort of an impact, and, you know, even that, makes a lot of difference.